In this tip of the week, we will look at how to duplicate and move assignments, discussions, and pages. You can duplicate assignments, discussions, and pages by using the gear settings icon associated with the activity that you want to replicate. From the drop-down menu, you will see an option to duplicate. All duplicated assignments, discussions, and pages will default to an unpublished status with the word copy added to the end of the name, and all items in the original source, such as content and options or settings, will copy over exactly as set up in the item being copied. Copied peer review assignments retain the peer review setting and assigned review date, but the number of reviews per user will be set to zero. Copied assignments are always assigned to everyone in the course. Differentiated assignments are not retained for individual users, groups, or sections. The original Irish Counties paper had multiple dates, and the copy has one due date, November 13th. The copied assignment retains the everyone else due date if any due dates are entered. If a differential assignment does not include an everyone else date, then the copied assignment does not include a due date. Copied assignments using an external tool, such as Turnitin, may need to be reconfigured. As you can see, the copied assignment recognizes that an external tool was used, but it does not remember that Turnitin was the tool that was used. The only assignment type that cannot currently be duplicated are quizzes. For duplicated discussions, if the discussion was set to be a graded assignment, then peer review discussions will default the same way other assignments will, with the number of reviews set to zero and the discussion being assigned out to everyone by default. For an assignment with multiple due dates, the copied assignment will have the default due date that was assigned to everyone else. When duplicating pages, any settings you have will be retained. In this copy of the Sign Up Wiki page, the option that both teachers and students can edit the page was retained in the copy. To move or reorder assignments after you've created them, you can manually drag and drop them to the desired location by clicking and holding down the drag handle next to the assignment name. You can also use the Move To option to reorder an assignment. Click on the gear settings icon and select the Move To link. A sidebar will open with Move Options. From the Place drop-down menu, select the assignment group that you want to move the assignment to. You may also choose to keep it in the same assignment group if you just want to move it before or after a different assignment within that group. Click the Before drop-down menu and select the assignment that should come right after the assignment that you are moving or you can choose to move the assignment to the bottom of the group. If you choose to move the assignment to a group with no other assignments in it, the only option under Before will be at the bottom. All changes are applied automatically. If you are done moving assignments, click Done to close the sidebar. As for discussions, only discussions within the Pinned Discussions section can be reordered manually. Other sections are automatically ordered by recent activity date. Like with moving assignments, you can drag and drop the discussion, or you can choose the Move To option from the gear settings icon. From the Move To sidebar, you can choose to reorder a pinned discussion to the top or bottom of the discussion list, or before or after a particular pinned discussion. Pages cannot be moved or reordered. By default, they are listed alphabetically. However, since pages are organized in modules, you can reorder pages as well as other module items by dragging and dropping them or using the gear settings icon to move to any module before or after any other module item. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information, please review the following guides.